Hey everybody, it's Charlie, and we're cruising through the bruising of the suffering of the old failure to heed the voice of God. Or, do you actually want to turn from your old ways, doff and don the new, and be healed from the tree of life, because you're going to burn cannabis as the burning bush in the land of Cana, next to the Jebusites, which is literally the word cannabis, or hemp seed that looks like hemp on fire so what is the wood that produces the aroma of food for eternal life which the son of man is now giving you remember jesus said do not work for food that spoils but work for food that brings eternal life which the son of man will give you in the future because god healed me and i gave him credit from the cannabis the endocannabinoid system. So I read the Bible. I read the Torah. I didn't know there was a Torah. There's a whole different book, guys. And if Jesus is Jewish, and this is the Jewish book, and Jesus says not one word will drop from the law, and yet we have a new name, Jesus. We have no recollection of the Father, Hashem. And his, it says it right here. I just opened briefly, Isaiah. 53. God's will be done. Hashem desired to oppress him and he afflicted him. If his soul would acknowledge guilt, he would see offspring and live long days. The desire of Hashem would succeed in his hand. Now that's a flip. And yet my name is right there. My initials and my offspring see duff so strange on a random flip hashem's desire hashem has a desire that's your father it's not human your invisible feeling father who has thoughts he can see smell walk talk all that stuff but you're gonna have to carry him you're gonna have to carry him in your heart you're going to have to carry his words in your mind. You're going to have to defend your father. Now, anybody who doesn't want to defend their father, well, they should rethink that. And that's what this book does. It makes you think twice. It literally is food for thought today. 420. So Hashem desired to oppress him, me, and he afflicted him and got me sick. I didn't know it was him until I read that he gives diseases. But I'm like, oh, thanks for taking it off. Thanks for taking it away. He afflicted him, A-F-F, -F, if his soul would acknowledge guilt. I'm sorry that I didn't pay attention to what you wrote down in a book, but now I'm going to give it my utmost thought. First thing in the morning, sit down, have my tree, have my tea. It's called a tree tea. I open the Torah, I read, I'm in Exodus 24 today, I think, 25, no, 24, right, I read a chapter every day in the Torah, then in the Bible, and now I do the videos, and no one seems, to, they make fun of me, oh, you have so much weed, I'm like, weed, heed, need, dough, the dough that came out of Egypt is the same dough that the holy dough is offered, because my dad's name is Red Doff, offered, Red Doff. Hebrew, flip. So Hashem desired to oppress him. He afflicted me. If his soul would acknowledge guilt, a guilt offering, he would see offspring, see doff, <clears throat> and live long days. And there's the Judaism. Judaism. It's the day of fire, the day of food. Doff. It's not dog food. It's doff. Food. So he would see offspring and live long days, and the desire of Hashem would suck seed, C E E D, in his hand, which is this. I hold the Statue of Liberty. I have the law in my heart. He poured out his spirit. It says it. I will pour out my thoughts. I'm like, uh oh. You're going to pour out your thoughts? I'm like, yeah, just keep pouring. I'm like, oh, washboarding to be washed off. You have to fill your brain with the ideas that God is both the destroyer and the healer. 
because the wages of sin are death. Guess what? Everyone dies. Except if you understand the wages of life is to pay attention and spend time with your father, then your father will let you live with him. And if you're with your father, who's in heaven, welcome to heaven on earth. This body forever, this mind on fuego, so let's go. I'm going to succeed as the former kings and my father, CD. He would see the purpose and be satisfied with his soul's distress. With his knowledge, my servant will indicate the righteous one to multitudes. Knowledge of Indica. It's a good indication of what this nation should be doing is one God under the cloud in Hashem. We trust, we believe, and we're going to repent in sackcloth and ashes. We're going to get high in the morning. We're going to get high in the evening. We're going to get high. It's called Lahayam. <laughs> so, in its iniquities he that he will carry. Therefore, I will assign him a portion from the multitudes and he will divide the mighty as spoils in return for having poured out his soul for death being counted among the women, wicked for he bore the sin of the multitudes and prayed for the wicked. Well, that's not really my part. I don't know how we got to Isaiah. This is a very strange thing, but weren't we talking about... Uh, how do we get here? I'm like now totally stunned and how do we get here? Because I'm like, oh, we're back to Hashem. Wow. So this is an interesting video. We're going to go back and try John 1 again. I think we were going to do John 1, John's disciples followed Jesus, but we never really got to it. And I kind of want to do this short video because, I don't know, it just talks about Hashem, the wood, the seed, succeed, to breathe, to see the offspring, which is the seed and offspring, my name. I see my name. I see Doff. That's the thing. I just want to share with you guys that I am his servant. I know his food. I wake up. I give him his food. He wakes me up, says, I'm hungry. I'm like, okay, I'll feed you the body, your food, not my food. And then we have some of my food later, like bread or whatever it is. So, uh, God poured out his thoughts to me. I poured out my thanks to him. And that is Tuda for Torah, which is the daily offering of food. Numbers 28. God said to Moses, make sure you bring me my food at the appointed time. Well, now's a good time. Practice your righteousness daily. And thank our Father, because this is how we should pray to Him.